In this video, we'll be performing voltage and current testing with the U-Activate and the PicoScope. Now, voltage and current waveforms tell us not just how much energy is being used, but how it's being used, giving us a clear view into the circuit performance. Now, to start, we'll be measuring the voltage on the green test port on the U-Activate, which is pin 87 of the relay circuit on this 2011 Chevrolet Corvette. If you look at the wiring diagram here, we can see we have power coming in to terminal 30, we have our outlet on terminal 87 that feeds the pump, goes right through the pump and right to ground, okay? We have an inductive loop here on the bottom of the U-Activate that we covered in the last video. And so what we need to do, we identified the relay. We're gonna pull that out. So we get the appropriate connector. We're going to insert it here. We're gonna turn on our LED to make sure we have the orientation right. And as you can see, it's green. I need to flip it around so that it is red, okay? That means that we have power on terminal 30 as designed, and then 87 is gonna be out. So 87, we're gonna go ahead and hook up, okay, here, all right? And then our ground, we're gonna hook up to the battery negative, okay? And then our current probe is gonna go around our loop, all right? Then we just need to set the scope up, so I'm gonna go here, channel B. I'm gonna manually set it to 20 volts. I'm gonna hit start on the scope. We're gonna turn the U-Activate switch on. We're gonna turn it off and we'll stop the scope. And take a look and see what we got. So there's our stall current right there. We can grab a cursor here. You can see our operating voltage, about 1201. You can see where the voltage was loaded right there during the stall event on the pump. And as, as you know, all electrical motors, as you go to turn them on, they're gonna basically draw a lot of inrush current, and then it's going to speed up and become operational, okay? As we mentioned earlier in the other video, um, this noise here that you see on the switch, that's the switch contacts, that's, uh, that's normal. Um, so don't be alarmed by seeing that. And then as we mentioned in the last video, this is how you can actually measure your nominal uh, amperage. We'll put, move our cursor in the middle. And then if we wanna measure the speed of the pump, we can come in here and just kind of tighten up our look we're gonna grab a couple of cursors. We're gonna pick two repeating items here. So I'm, I'm gonna pick those two lower dips there. So I'm gonna count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that is one revolution of the pump. And you can see that we've got about 5390. If you really wanted to get specific, you could zoom right in get right on the bottom of that one there, get right on the bottom of that one there, and we're at 5524. We'll zoom back out one, and there we go. The role of the U-Activate is to make it easy to connect to the vehicle circuits and begin testing right away using the built-in analysis tools. From there, you can quickly connect your test equipment for further analysis. And as you further your skills, Look at known good to know what good is. Also note, with new brush pumps, it's not uncommon to see very noisy patterns because the brush bar to commutator connections will need some time to seat in. Now always compare your electrical test analysis to your other tests, such as a fuel pressure gauge, engine performance factors, etc. Is a pump good, bad, or in between? A quick rule of thumb, Higher current equals more load and lower RPM. It could mean a clogged filter, worn bearings, or shorted windings. Lower current equals less load or higher RPM. It could point to a no fuel in the tank or a leaking internal line or an open fuel pressure regulator. For more tips, please refer to page 24 of the U-Activate user manual. U-Activate, the ultimate relay circuit test assistant.